the flexibility that Endovac gives us is a really big deal because then we don't have to be managing where is she at in the stage of lactation. My name is Tom Hintz, uh, graduate of the uh, School of Veterinary Medicine, Wisconsin. I've um, been practicing for over 30 years now. Endovac Dairy didn't get a lot of publicity and it's been around a long time, different names. We've had herds that have used it for a long time, but we, we kind of lost favor in it because different companies were pushing their product more. So that was part of it. A good representative in the area came along, gave us more details, and we got to thinking about it more. And, the, and for me personally, one of the bigger things was how can I utilize a product and minimize the shots I have to give. And that was a real big key for me, along with the milk drop. And that's why we did our own investigation on the milk drop end of things, to just verify for us, okay, they're telling us what is happening, but is it really happening? I know it's hard to believe we wouldn't believe a sales representative. And we've proven to ourselves that we do see less milk drop with Endovac. That's a pretty big deal. You know, it's, some of that stuff gets kind of hidden because you're only vaccinating several animals, not the whole herd at once. And uh, that can be a little deceiving at times. And uh, the herds that we've been utilizing that, not only for mastitis control, um, there's been a bonus because you don't have to get as many shots. And that's a pretty big deal. You know, the less shots you gotta give, the better off we are. But I feel confident that we we are minimizing the, the number of uh, shots we have to give based on, on not using a salmonella vaccine. And that's really what I'm trying not to do. And there's, I know that's a big can of worms because it goes back to the cow health, cow cleanliness, how cows are managed, and that all plays a role into how well a vaccination program works. And keeping those things in mind have really benefited us by utilizing Endovac in that, in that relationship concerning salmonella. We can then incorporate that with timing related to, we don't have to worry about a milk drop um, or minimal milk drop. And that, that's really a big key related to timing as far as when we can or can't use a vaccine. What we're trying to do with the cow is we're trying to minimize any adverse effects whether it be fevers, milk loss, or abortions. Those are probably the big ones. And then in turn, you know, we want to maximize performance. So, and that's what a good vaccination program can help enhance what we're trying to do. Endovac does that for us.